Ladies and gentlemen, today, I'd like to explore an intriguing question about the vastness of our universe and the limits of human exploration. If a person were to live a maximum of 90 years, which planet could they reach within their lifetime? Let's embark on this cosmic journey together. Before we begin our video, we want to take a moment to thank you for choosing to watch and support our channel. Your viewership means a lot to us, and we're excited to share this content with you. We also want to remind you to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. By subscribing, you'll stay updated with our latest videos, ensuring that you never miss out on any valuable content. If we consider the hypothetical scenario where our traveler could journey at the speed of light, approximately 299,792 kilometers per second, 186,282 miles per second, Let's explore which planets they could reach within their 90-year lifespan. Here's a breakdown of the journey. Mars, with an average distance of about 54.6 million kilometers, 33.9 million miles, from Earth, it would take approximately 3.64 minutes to reach Mars at the speed of light. Our traveler would have plenty of time to explore and return within their 90-year lifespan. Jupiter, at its closest approach, Jupiter is approximately 588 million kilometers, 365 million miles, away from Earth. Traveling at the speed of light, our traveler would reach Jupiter in approximately 33.17 minutes. Saturn, with an average distance of about 1.2 billion kilometers, 746 million miles, from Earth, our traveler would reach Saturn in approximately 1 hour and 12 minutes. Uranus, Located at an average distance of about 2.7 billion kilometers, 1.7 billion miles, from Earth, it would take approximately 2 hours and 40 minutes to reach Uranus at the speed of light. Neptune, the farthest planet from the Sun in our solar system, is approximately 4.5 billion kilometers, 2.8 billion miles, away from Earth. Our traveler would reach Neptune in approximately 4 hours and 45 minutes at light speed. Considering the speeds achievable at the speed of light, our traveler could reach all of these planets within their 90-year lifespan. They would have ample time to explore each destination, study its unique features, and return to Earth. It's important to note that traveling at the speed of light is purely theoretical at this point, as we have yet to develop the technology and understanding to achieve such velocities. Nonetheless, this thought experiment demonstrates the vast potential for interplanetary travel within a human lifetime if we could reach the speed of light. Let's reconsider the scenario with our traveler using the speed of an Airbus A380, approximately 900 km per hour or 560 miles per hour, to determine which planets they could potentially reach within their 90-year lifespan. Here's a breakdown of the journey. Using the average distance between planets at their closest approach, we can calculate the time taken to reach each planet. Mars, with an average distance of about 54.6 million kilometers, 33.9 million miles, from Earth, our traveler would require approximately 60,667 hours or 6.9 years to reach Mars using the speed of an Airbus A380. Jupiter, at its closest approach, Jupiter is approximately 588 million kilometers, 365 million miles, away from Earth. It would take approximately 653,333 hours or 74.6 years to reach Jupiter at Airbus A380 speed. Saturn, with an average distance of about 1.2 billion kilometers, 746 million miles, from Earth. Reaching Saturn would take approximately 1,333,333 hours or 152.1 years using the same speed. Uranus, located at an average distance of about 2.7 billion kilometers, 1.7 billion miles, from Earth, it would take approximately 3 million hours or 342.5 years to reach Uranus at Airbus A380 speed. Neptune, the farthest planet from the Sun in our solar system is approximately 4.5 billion kilometers, 2.8 billion miles, away from Earth. It would take approximately 5 million hours or 570.8 years to reach Neptune using the same speed.
considering our traveler's 90-year lifespan, it becomes clear that they would not be able to reach any of the aforementioned planets solely using the speed of an Airbus A380. The distances involved in interplanetary travel are immense, and the limitations of conventional aircraft speed make it unfeasible to reach these destinations within a human lifetime. Therefore, if our traveler were confined to the speed of an Airbus A380, they would remain within Earth's vicinity and not be able to reach any other planets within their 90-year lifespan. The closest known planet to Earth outside of our solar system is Proxima Centauri b. Proxima Centauri b orbits the star Proxima Centauri, which is part of the Alpha Centauri star system, located approximately 4.22 light-years away from Earth. Proxima Centauri b was discovered in 2016 and is classified as an exoplanet, meaning it orbits a star other than our Sun. It is considered a potentially habitable exoplanet, as it is located within the star's habitable zone, the region where conditions might allow for the presence of liquid water, a crucial ingredient for life as we know it. Given its relatively close proximity, Proxima Centauri b has garnered significant interest from scientists and astronomers. However, the vast distances involved mean that reaching Proxima Centauri b with our current technology is a tremendous challenge. Even traveling at the speed of light, it would take approximately 4.22 years to reach the planet. Interstellar travel, particularly to reach exoplanets, remains a topic of ongoing research and exploration. Scientists and engineers are actively studying various propulsion concepts and potential breakthroughs that could enable future missions to reach distant stars and their planets. While it is an ambitious goal, the possibility of exploring and studying exoplanets like Proxima Centauri b is an exciting prospect for the future of space exploration. The farthest known planet in our solar system is Neptune, which is located approximately 4.5 billion kilometers, 2.8 billion miles away from Earth. However, when we talk about the farthest planets beyond our solar system, we refer to exoplanets, which orbit stars other than our Sun. The distances to these exoplanets are typically measured in light years, which is the distance that light travels in one year. The closest star system to our solar system is Alpha Centauri, and it consists of three stars, Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B, and Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri is the closest of the three and has been found to have at least one exoplanet in its orbit. The exoplanet known as Proxima Centauri b is located approximately 4.37 light-years away from Earth. This means that light from Proxima Centauri b takes about 4.37 years to reach us. If we were to send a spacecraft traveling at the speed of light, it would still take 4.37 years to reach Proxima Centauri b. It's essential to note that achieving the speed of light is currently beyond our technological capabilities, and it is uncertain if it is even possible for objects with mass to travel at that speed. The vast distances between stars and exoplanets make interstellar travel an immense challenge for our current understanding and technology. Nonetheless, astronomers and scientists are actively studying and researching ways to explore and potentially reach distant exoplanets in the future. Perhaps one day, through advancements in propulsion systems or the discovery of new physics principles, we may have the ability to undertake interstellar journeys.